everyone knows these satisfying and sometimes creepy pool room videos. And today I will exactly show you how they're made. I will use the open source software blend of this, make sure you have some reference photos and then let's start by modeling our scene. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just adding a plane and scaling it to make it bigger so we have a nice ground. Then I'm adding some pillars because I want light shining through. And yeah, I think this is fine. I add some pillars and then I will grab a new object. This will be a cylinder. Let's add more subdivisions and also make it bigger. This will be for the pool in the ground. Then I will add a Boolean modifier to this. Then apply it and you will see you have a hole in the ground. The next thing is to shade it smooth. And then I just add a cube, make it a bit bigger and this will be the ceiling. Now you can scale it in edit mode, just select the up face, make it a bit smaller and then just scale it to your liking. Now I make the sides of the pool a bit bigger and add some channels for the water to flow. And yeah, I think this actually looks fine. I bevel the pool a bit so it's more smooth and then we can go on and do some doors. Just round the edges a bit and this will look much better than sharp edges. And then I just copy and paste those pillars from before to the other room. In this room I want a big big pool too. So I'm extruding everything, then I will inset this face to make a big pool and also scaling it. After I've done that, I will just extrude those faces along the Z axis so the pool is a bit bigger. Of course, we need to make everything a bit deeper so the pool fits in there. So the ground has to be a bit deep too. And now you see the finished pool. Next step is adding a ladder. You can see me modeling it here. I use this little trick of making some lines like I want the ladder to be. Then I will bevel those edges so it's more smooth. And if the edges are round enough, I can convert everything to a curve go to geometry and just give it a bit depth. Now let's convert this back to a mesh, copy and paste it and I will add some steps to the letter 2. I'm just doing this by grabbing some planes, scaling them and just making them a bit bigger on the Z axis. Then just copy and paste them a few times, adjust the length so it fits the ladder perfectly. And yeah, that's actually it. I added another door because I want the camera to go to the right later. Now I'm just doing this so there's no like empty space but the rooms continue and now you see me adjusting the size of it. I also extrude those walls because I want a dark hallway there. And this is way better than before. Now you see me trying some lighting with the Blender add-on Physical Atmosphere. 
This just an add-on, you can experiment with the sky a bit, it gives realistic results. You can see the light flowing through those pillars. And also I recommend setting everything to cycles with GPU compute for rendering. And this will look really, really good. For the next step, I'm adding a little boolean to the pool. I forgot to do that earlier. This is because I wanted to add a little watch slide. And I think this gives it a nicer feeling than just the pool in a room. Now we come to texturing everything. I will add some textures. So the base color texture with the AO texture, AO is ambient occlusion. This will add depth to it. And also roughness is important, a low roughness value because everything is wet in a swimming pool, of course. And also I will add a normal map what a normal map does is it basically fakes the shadows on a 2D texture. And now you can see me adding a mapping node. This is because I want the texture to be way smaller. You see the texture is too big. And now I can add a higher value to the size and the texture just will be smaller. You have to experiment a bit to find the right value for your texture size, but you usually find that very quickly. Once I have it done, I will just unwrap everything so the texture wraps smoothly around the object and then I will just adjust the texture size for every part of the scene. Okay, the texture in the pool is a little bit weird. What I've done is I selected all the faces where the texture looked kind of weird. Then I applied a new blank texture and then I gave it a tile texture as well. But the cool thing is you can separately unwrap this part and what I've done is just I unwrapped it with cube projection and this looks way better than before because it's parallel to the lines on the floor. I adjusted the texture size as well and it fits really good. Now for the leather I will give it a metallic texture with some imperfections because no metal is like perfect. You have fingerprints, scratches on it every time and this will make it a bit more realistic. I do this with a roughness imperfection map and then I add a brightness contrast node in between so the effect is not too strong but still visible. Now for the watt slide, I do the same thing with the imperfection map. So it has some scratches, looks used and this again gives a really nice effect. Okay, for the water, I will use this material. You can see it here in the shader editor. Make sure if you're using EV to turn on screen space reflections, pressing N in the shader editor and just hit those check marks as well. But in EV, this doesn't work that well with the volume, so I'm switching to cycles. Adding this volume just to make it a bit brighter, so what it really shines with the emission. And normally this wouldn't look like that, this is not that realistic, but I think it just gives a really cool effect. It's a nice approach for a bright scene where the sun just hits the water. And for the next step, I want to add some atmosphere, so I'm adding a cube all around the scene. Then I'm grabbing a principled volume, assigning this to the volume of the material output 
and then I just will decrease the density of it. Make sure you have some transmission and volume paths. They are increased because the light rays need to go through the volume. And then I'm just decreasing the density until I get a nice result that I like. Why I do this with the volume is because the light that goes through these pillars, you can really see those god rays. You can see it here really, really good. And this just gives so much atmosphere to the scene. Now I'm just going to the water and I added some ripples to it with a nice texture. I know the water is usually still in a room where nobody is, but you know, these are the back rooms. You want to make it a bit stylized. I just animated the rotation and location of the noise a bit. You can see it here, how the water moves. This gives a nice feeling of movement to the scene. I think that's really cool. Now for the camera, I just move it. Then I'm just inserting keyframes for location, rotation and scale and everything should be animated. A really cool thing you can do is to add a little camera shake. Go to the animation tab and then on the left side, pick what you want to animate. Then press N, you get the modifiers tab, add a noise modifier and just set the values to something similar I've done so the noise is not too strong. But you can see how this affects the camera and it looks handheld. Once you're finished with everything, you can go to your render tab and then just choose everything how you like. I will render it in 24 frames per second in JPEG format. And then you can go to render, render animation and just render it out. I also added this VHS overlay and some sound effects just to make it complete. If you want to see the final video, you can click on it in the end card. And if you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. If not, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.